Welcome to the iPad Apps First Look channel and today we're going to talk about a program that's called, that's called Starlight Mobile Planetarium by Gyrocade and it's a 99 cent planetary, planetarium type uh, software if you are a occasional sky grazer or maybe a little more serious and look at the sky often uh, interested in what you can see um, want to know what the sky looks like and what the constellations are well this is a, a nice little planetarium program it's 99 cents not you know not expensive um, it's a 16 megabyte app so it's quite small works on iOS 5 or later devices compatible with the iPhone iPad and iPod touch and it's optimized for the iPhone 5 it uses the uh, gyro and uh, GPS to uh, understand a little bit where it's positioned in space. You've got in-app purchase for $1.99 Planetary Sounds Pack and uh, whatever that means. There are two versions. There's Planet uh, Starlight and Starlight uh, 2 available also. So if you uh, are looking at mobile planetariums uh, there's slight improvements in Starlight 2 and to the designs, but the one we're talking about today is the first one for 99 cents. And uh, once it's installed, well, you've got this little icon that's called Starlight that you click on. Basically, Starlight is a sky planetarium. If you want to know what you're watching, what you're looking at, well, this is the program for that. It uh, positions itself automatically so for example here I am actually holding my iPhone so that it is due east and you see what we can see at this time so it really uses your local time, date and position. So if you're looking at the sky want to know what you're watching aren't sure then this is a nice little planetarium software gives you details on what you're watching. Um, if you're watching in the sky, you can zoom in on objects and have them uh, more, you know, see them closer. Planets are presented um, kind of out of shape. They're a little big compared to the uh, sky, but actually they show you the uh, picture of the surface of the planet, what it looks like so uh, that's the cool part and so you just point your uh, iPhone or iPad at the sky and it tells you what you are watching uh, stars are presented quite well into their magnitudes so stars that are brighter are brighter on the scale depending on what you are looking at uh, of course, you can search for objects. If you, uh, you have a little search here, you can search for constellations, solar system, uh, planets, or stars. So, for example, if I'm searching for planets, uh, what's interesting in the search, they tell you what's above the horizon and what's not. So, for example, it tells you the planets, tells you Jupiter's not there for now, Uranus is currently below. So, depending on what you want to watch, you just click and it does not go there it puts a little pointer and it says well go in that direction so you have to go 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 that I find interesting because most of the programs that I've seen just bring you to the planet itself while well, this one tells you where to point your iPhone so you can actually correlate what's in your sky map and what's in the sky for real and watch the sky and learn which stars are actually planets and where the constellations are so for example you're thinking oh I want to see uh, the big bear Ursa Major uh, so I don't know if it finds it by the regular name no you have to know their Latin name actually that's maybe a little um, problematic for people that aren't very good in astronomy they probably should have given out the uh, regular names that people know constellations about for example the big bear people know the big bear 
but they don't really know much what of Ursa Major, what it is, and that's the big bear. So it tells you point where to point in the sky to find it actually. So it's pretty cool and uh, it's actually there. Here you see the big bear. So uh, that's I think a great great cool way to learn how to find objects in the sky. You can also directly click a star. It's going to tell you what it is, the name of the star. So uh, it's quite interesting. Uh, and the options that um, you have that restore purchases and uh, more apps. So there's not many settings in this program. It's made to be extremely uh, easy to use. So uh, that's one thing for sure. You can buy packs and try to uh, get the star or whatever pack it said, the star sounds or whatever, so uh, depending on what you want. They also, I believe, have other apps that are astronomy wise, so um, probably you have those purchases available also. So it's an okay planetarium. Um, it's nice. It is quite precise. Uh, the uh, um, location of the stars are well adjusted and um, easy to use and um, the added bonus that if you find an object then you get pointed in the direction it does not point it for you which is a nice bonus if you want to learn your sky and learn where are in the sky the different objects so Starlight, 99 cents. Uh, there's uh, also Starlight 2 that you can check out for 99 cents. It's not expensive and it's a great way to actually learn more about the sky surrounding you at night. So thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos and reviews, please subscribe to our channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, let us know. Maybe you have an app that you'd like us to talk about or if you're a developer and you have an app that you'd like us to review, let us know and we'll try to put that video online. And uh, hopefully you enjoy our videos and come back to the iPad Apps First Look channel. Bye-bye.